Well, there you go. Uh, Manchester United and Chelsea have agreed terms for Mason Mount to move to Old Trafford in a deal worth up to around £60 million. Uh, he's only 24, by the way. England at Nash will undergo a medical next week before signing a five-year five year contract worth around... Have a guess, Ray. How much, um, how much well, he's got to be on at least... Fifth, um, 12 and a half a year. How much? So I'll go 20 per per week. Week. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I reckon I'm, about 70 million pounds. How much a year? 70, huh? Uh, how much a week? About 200, 250. You're spot on. Ball accounts Roughly. is worth 250 grand a week. What's that? 50? Oh, That's good dear, money you'd be, you'd you know, you're playing in the wrong year. You'd, right? you'd, you'd last four <laughs> weeks. You'd be dead, right? <laughs> no, no. 250 uh, grand a week. Yeah, but that's not probably their highest paid player, is it? I know. Scary, isn't it? It's more I was than talking that, about this yesterday, some guys. Uh, lovely do, you know what, just, do, do you know what it, about it is, Al, as well? Usually, during the summer, you still get paid, don't you? Where American yeah. football, you only get paid while the season's on. Yeah, but they get more than that, don't but, they? So you'll be sitting on the beach. Say you're sitting on the beach for six weeks at the end of the season, and you're not international. And you're on that sort of money. You're still getting paid, that, aren't you? It's one of them. Should we have another glass of uh, champagne? <laughs> yeah, but they, these guys don't really drink, do they? But it's all about they investment, odds, Al. Yeah. They, you know what they do with their money, and um, it's a short. Uh, well, what do you do life. with your money? What do they? What do they do at the moment? Well, I'm sure there's lots of advisors. Um, oh saying yeah, properties. Fill, and that fill sort the of boots. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, properties. And well, property's not going anywhere fast, is it? Well, you, you know, they'll have a, a portfolio of rental properties. How's your four in Portugal? Are they doing all right, are they? <laughs> I wish I did have four. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a situation where, look, this is what it's all about now. Money so, money talks now, So you're it? saying then 250 grand a week, you just lie on the beach in Santa Monica in L.A., and, and head up to Hollywood Boulevard. Oh, yes. You know, as an ex Chelsea player. As an ex player, I'm sure he does this all the you time. Know, you know, yeah. what a life that must be. Oh. Hey, good morning, Mario. <laughs> How are we? Oh, man. Hey, Mario. Good morning, man. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are the best, man. <laughs> <laughs> what a life you've got. Here's me and Ray getting oh. up at two o'clock in the morning, and you're swanning around Santa Monica. You know, lovely. Oh man! Hey, listen, you, you, hey, you, it's not a bad chance what you're giving me. I'm walking around in Santa Monica, and who do I bump into on the beach? You will not imagine who I saw. Stallone, Conor Gallagher, Colin Ga- Conor Gallagher. I literally walk on the beach and I see him. Oh really? And I go like, "Hey, what's going on?" And we start talking. No, oh, great kid, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, uh, well, Mason, he's an amazing player. So I saw Connor. So it was great. What about Mason then? Mason Mount heading to Manchester United. Just what Manchester United need, I think. Yeah. No. Look, uh, Ten Hag. If I look at him, and I know, of course, his history, and I spoke to him a number of times. But um, just the thing that he always focuses on. He wants a high level of competition to make sure that his team is good enough. If we look at, I'm not going to compare him to Guardiola because Guardiola's team, of course, you understand they are um, they did it last season. But just looking at his side, he has a lot of competition, and that's his kind of the way. When you want to build a top team, you need competition. So yeah. he brings a kid in that is very talented, very good. I understand that people have mixed feelings because you hear some people say like, "Oh, let him go, let him go, guys, come on." This was a kid that came to the youth system of Chelsea that went on loan to make him better. So he went to Vitesse in Holland. Then he comes back, goes to Derby, then comes back, plays at Chelsea, and then wins the, the Champions League, wins a number of cups afterwards with them. And then we just have to say to ourselves, look, some talents you want to keep in your team. And if you wait too long, those guys are going to look for something else. And I think that's what clearly happened to him. Yeah, Mario, what do, what do you make of uh, Chelsea so far? Because I think everybody knew they had too many players last year. You know, they went out and bought loads and loads of players. And, you know, it, it was no team ethic there, was there? I mean, but now Pochettino's in there. He's got to thin the squad down. He's let a few players go. Um, so how do, you, how do you see him uh, in this transfer window at the moment? I know Mason Mount's a disappointment that he's leaving. Mm-hmm. But most of the business they've done is pretty good. Yeah, no, definitely. You know, look, they invested a lot of money. I think it was worth around 600. And now they got back, what is it, maybe you're going around 200. Uh, you know, and we're talking millions here. We're not talking like uh, 600 pounds because that's Ray and I it would be easy for us. But the millions that we're talking about, yeah, that's a lot of money that they, they managed to win back. Um, but still, they're on a journey journey of like making sure that there's space for the new ones to come in and also the ones that are sitting there that aren't happy or don't want to be there they have to go somewhere else okay they had a lot left already i mean 
Havertz left, uh, Kovacic left, Koulibaly, Mendy, you know, Sierra. Uh, Kante and you know like I can call everybody Mandy but just the number of the guys that are going now they have to make sure that we know Potatino he needs time and he will build you a team and we just have to make sure that that the journey of him is going forward because if if it takes too long you know how the rumors were already in the beginning you know people started to work quite, and not in the beginning at the end of the season people started to complaining and you could see that they weren't happy Yeah, I hope that Pochettino can turn things, you know, I'm not expecting him to do it quickly because he's not a miracle man, but at least we see some signs when the season starts that we know what he wants to do with the team because that's very important because the team did not have a direction mm. uh, last season. Yeah, uh, but um, you mentioned Havertz there, uh, Mario. Where do, you, where do you believe is Kai's best position? Because I, I, I was... I watched them. Uh, I read, excuse me, Arteta's statement. He said, "No, he will really add to our midfield." And I'm like, mm, "Is he a midfield player? Is he, is he off the striker? Is he, and you know, an inside forward in the old days? Will he play off a striker, or is he going to be a midfield player? Where's his best?" I always said uh, Kai Havertz was for me an attacking midfielder. I never saw Kai as a striker. Right. But I could have been wrong, and I, even when he was at Chelsea, I, I just said like, "Look." I was maybe, you know, uh, sometimes you go against it and you say like, oh, I don't want to see K there or whatever. Because normally a striker needs to score you more goals than he did when he was at Chelsea. But also before he came to Chelsea, his skill was in the, coming in the attacking line, but late into the attacking line, not just standing there and then doing his things. I always felt like he was so intelligent as a player to understand in Germany when to attack that space. And I think at Chelsea sometimes, he didn't get that moment because they put him as a striker. And then, look, now in case you can change, of course, you can do, you can put him up as a striker now and then, then just to have that false nine and have that feeling of making the opponent think. But if you put him there every week, every week in, week out, I think you're going to question his ability because then you're going to say like, oh, when is he scoring? But he's not that kind of player. He's a mid attacking midfielder. And I hope Arteta will use him to, I mean, <laughs> I wanted Chelsea to do it. But if Chelsea is going to do it, I mean, I still want to see Harry Harvis play great football. So, so Mario, I'm sure he's going to play the attacking football. You mentioned Pepe, you know, brilliant. What a treble. Who's the biggest challenge? Will it be Arsenal this season or are Liverpool going to get back into it? Do you see anyone else challenging uh, Manchester City? I mean, look, <laughs> Ray is sitting there. And Ray, I'm sorry, but your your team definitely has to be the challenger. Because look, guys, in February, even I, and I'm sure Ray was, or anybody else, I'm sure you you as well, you know, how, like it was like we all looked at Arsenal and think Arsenal was going to do it. And then things changed. So they're coming back now. If you buy that many plays, like of that statue, like K. Harvard's, um, uh, Rice, you brought in guys. These are names in the Premier League that know exactly what the league the league needs and what they can implement into a certain team. So then coming to Arsenal, they got a great force now. So I expect them to do some really really good things this season again, and hopefully they don't let it run again till the till February and then they you know they drop off because that will be a sad moment for them. Yeah, brilliant. Well, Mario, we'll let you go. Surf, <laughs> surf is up. Thanks, Mario. Get that board out. In Thank the sea. you guys, go man. Go on. <laughs> I will you. enjoy the sun for you. Have a good day. Nice one, Mario. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.